In this presentation, we will discuss what happens when two or more charges come into contact and are separated. Because charge cannot be created or destroyed, the net charge in a closed system remains constant. So, when one object gains electrons, the other object must lose the same number of electrons. This is called the conservation of charge. When the blue charges touch, the total charge before and after they come into contact is negative 8. Electrons always move from the more negative sphere and travel to the less negative sphere. Charges stop flowing when the two charges are equal. When the pink charge, when the pink charge is touched, the charge flows from the positive 2 charge to the negative 10 until the charges on both spheres are equal. Notice once again that the total charge before the interaction equals the total charge after. If two or more charges are brought together, their combined charge is distributed evenly. To find the charge in each sphere after an interaction, we simply add the total charge and divide by the number of charges. In this case, we divide the total charge of negative 10 by 2 to get negative 5. Charge is distributed evenly. Remember, when two or more charges come into contact, the total charge is distributed evenly, and the total charge before equals the total charge after. Let's take an example. Metals, uh, we've got a metal that's called sphere A. It has a positive 12 charge. A metal called sphere B, it has a charge of positive 16. After the two charges are brought into contact, what's the charge on sphere A? Well, we can see that the total charge is positive 28. The answer is positive 14. We find that by taking the total charge, which is positive 28, dividing by the total number of charges, which is 2. Positive 28 divided by 2 is positive 14. Notice that each time these charges come into contact, the net or total charge is distributed evenly and that the electrons always flow towards the more positive charge. In this presentation, you learn that when two, char two or more charges come into contact, the total charge is distributed evenly and that the conservation of charge tells us that the total charge before the interaction equals the total charge after.